When Jesus had finished praying, he and his disciples crossed the Kidron Valley and went into a garden. Jesus had often met there with his disciples, and Judas knew where the place was. Judas had promised to betray Jesus, so he went to the garden with some Roman soldiers and temple police, who had been sent by the chief priests and the Pharisees. They carried torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus already knew everything that was going to happen, but he asked, Who are you looking for? They answered, We're looking for Jesus from Nazareth. Jesus told them, I am Jesus. At once they all backed away and fell to the ground. Jesus again asked, Who are you looking for? We're looking for Jesus from Nazareth, they answered. This time Jesus replied, I have already told you that I am Jesus. If I am the one you are looking for, let these others go. Then everything will happen just as I said. I did not lose any one you gave me. Simon Peter had brought along a sword. He now pulled it out and struck at the servant of the high priest. The servant's name was Malchus, and Peter cut off his right ear. Jesus told Peter, Put your sword away. I must drink from the cup that the Father has given me. The Roman officer and his men, together with the temple police, arrested Jesus and tied him up. They took him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. This was the same Caiaphas who had told the Jewish leaders, It is better if one person dies for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. That disciple knew the high priest, and he followed Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest's house. Peter stayed outside near the gate. But the other disciple came back out and spoke to the girl at the gate. She let Peter go in, but asked him, Aren't you one of that man's followers? No, I'm not, Peter answered. It was cold, and the servants and temple police had made a charcoal fire. They were warming themselves around it when Peter went over and stood near the fire to warm himself. The high priest questioned Jesus about his followers and his teaching, but Jesus told him, I have spoken freely in front of everyone, and I have always taught in our meeting places and in the temple where all our people come together. I have not said anything in secret. Why are you questioning me? Why don't you ask the people who heard me? They know what I have said. As soon as Jesus said this, one of the temple police hit him and said, That's no way to talk to the high priest. Jesus answered, If I have done something wrong, say so. But if not, why did you hit me? Jesus was still tied up, and Annas sent him to Caiaphas, the high priest. While Simon Peter was standing there warming himself, someone asked him, Aren't you one of Jesus' followers? Again Peter denied it and said, No, I'm not. One of the high priest's servants was there. He was a relative of the servant whose ear Peter had cut off, and he asked, Didn't I see you in the garden with that man? Once more Peter denied it, and at once a cock crowed.